Hello everyone, Slick Jackson here. Once again, I'm kind of put in a position where there's some actually serious stuff going on. We like to laugh and have fun here on the channel, but for this video, we're gonna have to dial it back. I'll be honest, I don't know who Hyojin, I guess they call themselves Squizzy. I'm gonna call him Hyojin because it's easier. Not too familiar with this person, but I know they have quite the history regarding the internet community. Their most recent foray is regarding a now former partner of theirs, Punk Duck. A few weeks ago, this guy released a series of screenshots alleging all sorts of horrible things. Emotional manipulation, public humiliation, verbal abuse, and yes, physical abuse. Now, as we go through this, keep in mind that this person goes by they, them pronouns. You know, fine, whatever, just keep in mind that when I say they or them, I'm talking about Hyojin. As far as the allegations themselves go, I won't read the whole thing, but I'll be given an abridged, kind of more digestible version of it. If you know what happened, feel free to skip this segment. This person opens up was saying that they initially wanted to keep this thing away from the public eye but grew uncomfortable with Yojin's growing presence online. They talk about how for the first few months they dated, they started arguments over clothing, a lot of arguments where they'd pretty much manipulate this duck person into feeling as if they were the aggressor and in the wrong. Talks about how they seemingly took advantage of his mom's generosity to take money for a plane ticket despite having plenty of money to get a ticket themselves and only paid her back a year later despite duck constantly reminding them. Publicly humiliating humiliated this guy by yelling and screaming at him because he was having trouble setting up a tent, then a few days later yells at him because they were having trouble installing a steam game only to then go on discord to talk with their friends as if nothing even happened. When the guy questioned that, they hit him so hard that his head bounces off of the wall. So this guy gets out of there and starts packing, Hyojin sees this, realizes what's going on, runs to the bathroom, grabs a knife, points it at him, points it at herself until Duck disarms her, then Hyojin's mother comes in and starts verbal verbally berating Hyojin, which I think can be interpreted a few ways. I don't want to go too far into it, but abuse is kind of a cycle. If you're abusive to your kid or other people, that puts a lot of long-term issues that leads to them abusing other people. And look, it ain't your fault that you got abused, but it is up to you to resolve the mental issues that it may cause, because otherwise you end up hurting people. But again, I won't get too far into it, because at this point I'm assuming things about this person's life, and I just don't think that's right. So then the police come to take him away, they break up, but even after that point, Hyojin still berates this guy, but eventually they get back together. He helps them avoid getting a criminal record, but the relationship turns sour again. More emotional manipulation, threats of suicide, demands that this person sever ties with his own friends, which in my opinion is a huge red flag to watch out for. It's another tactic you see with abusers when they tell you to stop hanging out with your friends. It's a clear-cut way for them to isolate you, right? So they have more control over you without risk of your friends intervening without them helping you realize the situation you're in. In, right? It would once again hit a boiling point when Hyojin had a falling out with a friend and told Duck to send berating messages to that said friend. He refused and then they did some more unhinged stuff. Now Duck eventually manages to break up and distance themselves from Hyojin for the last time, but eventually Hyojin joins a discord server with a bunch of friends he was in. He asks them to leave, they get mad, send threats, removes them on all social media, and tries to gaslight the person into believing that they were never abused at all. And this is all backed up by a Google Drive filled with screenshots with the text to back up the overall event. And honestly, reading these texts is just as, if not more disturbing than the allegations themselves. I'll put a link to the Twitter thread and the Google Drive dump in a pinned comment below. If you have a strong enough stomach for it, I recommend that the text be read because it really is is a textbook case of abuse and manipulation. They really do pull out all the stops here. And I mean really, it really is gut-wrenching. You often hear these sorts of accusations and it really doesn't sound as bad, right? Like you hear it and obviously it's bad, but you don't really get the full grasp of it. But it's like now you're reading it firsthand and it really puts things into perspective, right? Like how people like these, people like Hyojin kind of operate, you know? These messages genuinely make me sick to my stomach. Now they do apologize privately, but as this person said, the apology came only a day after they went off on them and they said they were getting therapy and on medication, but it is alleged that they lied about that as well. And I mean, let's face it, abusers are known to be 
be pretty manipulative, so it's pretty hard to take an apology from one too seriously. After this would be exposed, Hyojian would face a lot of backlash, and rather than address it, would remain silent for a week. You can thank what you think, but it's really not a good look in the court of public opinion, to be sure. Of course, when it comes to situations like these, you do have to keep an open mind. Allegations are allegations after all, and screenshots can be faked, so while the evidence is admittedly convincing, it is important to leave some room for the accused to make their case. Although, Hyojin has now spoke up about the matter and has seemingly confirmed everything said about him, so the allegations seem to be a little more validated. Again, I'm gonna say these are allegations because you never 100% know with cases like these. I'm dotting my I's and crossing my T's, but it is looking incredibly likely that the screenshots are real. They post this, uh, text. Hey! Ed, I want you to know that I'm sorry. I've been going to therapy for a bit, and I'm still on that journey. I've seen progress in myself, but I still want to push for more change. I'm sorry for not making that change earlier. It would have prevented so much pain that I caused. I'm sorry. Ed had every right to post this because victims are allowed to talk about their abusers, especially if it'll help with the healing process. I'm not saying that this fixes everything, of course. I just know it needed to be posted. This is all completely fair and justified. I felt like my private apology to Ed was sincere, but I get why it come across that way, and my snap reaction was just me being a cunt. There's nothing I can do to undo the things I've done and I've disappointed, angered, and sickened people with what I've done. I'm sorry, I don't want this to happen again. I look at the person I was a couple years ago and even if I have changed, those were my actions and I understand that this is deserved. Actions have repercussions and every bad decision I've made has hurt people. I know that no matter how much I change in the future, I'll still be that person in people's eyes. I'm sorry for all that. There isn't much more I can say other than I'm sorry. I'm gonna reflect on this for a long time time and take a very, very long break. I'm not gonna come back till I'm better, I just hope that I can show that change clearly for people to see in the future. Now, honestly, there's nothing wrong with the apology itself. I mean, I'd say it's a legitimately good apology. If this was about anything else, anything other than abuse, I could see myself thinking, wow, they're showing maturity. They might be able to turn over a new leaf, right? We might be able to move past all this. But this is abuse we're talking about. You can't exactly apologize for causing this amount of harm to someone and very well causing long-term issues with someone. And I know they address that an apology ain't enough, but even addressing the futility of your apology don't make it less futile, right? And well, this person has been shown to be a manipulator. These sorts of people know what to say and when to say them. Again, it's kind of hard to accept a statement like this from someone who's just been exposed for maliciously controlling people's emotions through their words, you know? At the end of the day, I think this is a really good example of why you really can't take internet personalities at face value. I've heard this person described as a kind of quirky, wholesome a cute top creator. I don't know if that's true or not. Again, I'm not familiar with this person, but it just goes to show you the way people act publicly ain't indicative of how they act behind the scenes at all. The internet lets you more easily pick and choose what aspects of your personality you want people to see. And there ain't nothing wrong with that, but it really is up to the viewer to understand that they ain't getting the full picture. They don't know what's going on behind the scenes. All this to say, don't let yourself be fooled by these internet personalities, and yes, that does include myself. And again, there ain't nothing wrong with having an exaggerated personality, I'd be a damn hypocrite to say otherwise, but understand that oftentimes they are exaggerated. People like these who go out of their way to portray themselves as wholesome, morally righteous, nice, it should only make you more, you know, maybe not suspicious, but aware of this kind of stuff. We've seen it time and time again, these sorts of people often act this way to hide the type of person they really are. Now, will Hyojin be able to gain the respect of the community back when, or, well, if they return? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I've seen horrible people do it all the time. They get exposed for doing something bad, wait out the storm, and then return when everyone's all but forgotten about them. It does remain to be seen. But that's all I've got to say about the matter. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.